All right, now we're gonna do a run through with a dog who doesn't know what they're doing. So food is your best friend. Food is your friend. Good boy, Gable. Good boy, Gable. Nice. nice. So if you have a dog and you can get them to stand like this, you don't have to fuss them with the, uh, you know, foot placements and all that because he's doing it, and we can see what we're looking at. He may not have done this before, but he's very attentive and he loves food. All right. And Cheryl's going to keep him playing. <laughs> Hi, you. Good boy. Hi, you. Good. You're going to keep him happy. But then she's going to get him placed in a stand. And she's doing it with her food and her rewards. Oh, boy. All right. And if your dog is like this, I can see what we're looking at. So keep them happy. All right, I'm going to ask you to take your dog around the ring. So I'm going to just go real slow, and I may shrink the size of my circle just to get him used to where he has to be, because we have never done this. That but sounds good. This is a six foot, six foot leash. I figure most of you have a six foot leash, but if you have a shorter one, it's a lot easier to manage. I just did this on purpose so you can see how you can gather it up. All right, but we're gonna, we're just gonna go slow. There you go, good boy. Good boy. So for training, she's going to take him slow and in a smaller circle because he doesn't have as much of a chance to go fast and he has to be more focused on her. So that's kind of a hint as you work your dogs. Good. And then she's making your circle a little wider, letting him speed up a little bit, but still in control. She's gonna make me dizzy. Good. And again, she's gonna keep this training fun. You know, we're working with sled dogs and we want this to be fun for them. So as you do your training, this is a, this is a way to do it. Use your food. Shorten your leash. If you need to make your circles smaller so that the dog is focused on you rather than just surging ahead and uh, and trying to go fast, then that's going to really help you out using that method. Oh, boy. See how he's settling into it now? There. All right, one more, and then uh, then we'll have you stop again. Okay, so stop your dogs in there. So everyone will line up. You want to give the dog in front of you adequate space. Don't crowd them. You want them to be able to stay focused on their handler rather than focusing on your dog's nose up their butt. So be courteous. All right. So the judges are going to look at each dog again visually. And then we're going to come in and go over the dogs. Yeah. Hi, you. Oh, no. oh, Hi. And, and when I don't have a camera in my hand, hello, buddy. When I don't have a camera in my hand, I can uh, help control the dog a little bit. Good boy. 
Nice. Good boy, Gable. Nice. Good yes. Boy. Good. Good boy. Oh nice. Good boy, I raised this dog so he gets a little jumpy around me too. Hi you. Right here. Ooh. <laughs> so obviously if you can get a friend to help you out with this, good boy, good boy. Gable. Right nice. 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 Good boy. Good. Good boy, Gable. Easy. Good boy. Nice. Good boy. When I'm going over your dogs, I'm not going to go over fast and excite them and make them come out of position. I'm going to do it nice and easy so that they can relax. I've had dogs that want to jump in the air. I've had dogs that want to lay down. Dogs that uh, just don't know what to do. Oh, pretty teeth, Gable. Good boy. Pretty oh, awesome teeth. Gables. All right. That's awesome, All right. So then, once the judge is done with you, still keep your dog relaxed, but at, uh, in position as they go over each of the dogs, because uh, we will kind of look over and compare notes, and and we still want to be able to see what your dog is. So, on the ground, belly up, uh, you know, waving like. Uh, all four in the air, that's not gonna give us what we want. All right. So then we'll take that one or two dogs at a time, depending on class size. We'll come behind and then we're gonna send across the send across the ring again. I'll move back a little bit so he's not focused on me. So again, practice this stuff. Good. I want to pee on something. Which we discourage in the ring, thank you. See, we're showing you a dog who's never done it. Oh. Oh. So you know that we're starting in the same place that you guys are. Um, doing your training ahead of time, not to be perfect, but so the dog knows what to do. And that you're not starting from square one. Good boy. There we go. Nice. Yeah, okay. Then you'll stand your dog right there. Oh, boy, Gable. And the judge is going to look. We may walk around behind the dog. So just use your treats. Keep their attention. Good boy. All right. Then we're going to come back out. And we'll probably have you take uh, the dogs around the ring one more time. Cheryl, do you want to do that or are you tired? We'll give it a shot. Okay, so go around one more time and come back to this spot. Good boy. Good boy. That was great. So awesome. just in the space of this little time, you oh, can see boy. how he went from not having a clue to going, okay, maybe I can do this. Good boy, All right. So yeah. point of this is we want to look at some dogs, feel some dogs and have a lot of fun. All right. Hope that helps. And uh, we will see you on September 11th.